All right. So, what's up, guys? So, uh, here, let's talk about this whole uh, chi-squared process by hand. So, um, this is my matrix. Uh, this is where I'm going to put my sorted data. Now, all of my raw data goes in an appendix. This is where I'm going to put my um, survey uh, participants, my survey responses. As you can see, I'm trying to tell if there's a relationship between a person's favorite color and their GPA. So I have my categories of colors here and I have my ranges of GPA here. So um, let's go ahead and uh, populate these cells. Bang, there we go. So these are my um, survey results. As you can see, I had nine people with a GPA between three and four whose favorite color was red, so on and so forth. So let me go ahead and get some totals in here. Bang. Okay, first off, as you can see, I'm a little bit short on my data points, but we'll talk about that later. Remember, these are supposed to be 100 down here. So what it did was I totaled all of the reds, totaled all of the oranges, blues, greens, so on and so forth. Now, this data can be especially useful in your IA because from this data, you can talk about specifically how much of your percentage, uh, how, what percentage of your population had between a 3 and 4.0, 34 out of 96. What percent of my population preferred blue as a color? 26 out of 96. And these are other things in the simpler math process, processes that you can include in your paper. All right, so to go on with the process, first off, there is a requirement in your chi-square matrix that each cell has got to be bigger than five. So if any of you have any cells that are smaller than five, really consider combining some rows or combining some columns so that you don't have a very small number in any of these cells. Notice this cell only has one, this cell only has one, and that could be some sort of a problem. We would like an even distribution as possible. So there's a requirement for your chi-square matrix that is each cell greater than five. And as you can see right now, that's not the case, but we can fix that. What I want to do is I'm going to take these two columns and I'm going to go ahead and combine those two columns together. Notice how these are very small numbers here compared to these numbers over here. If you see something like this in your matrix, feel free to combine columns to meet this requirement. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to combine these columns here. And if you have to combine two or three more columns or rows, that's totally fine. But I'm going to go ahead and combine these two columns together. And so instead of having two separate columns, I'm going to have bang. So now I understand that this has a different range than this and this. However, that is secondary to this requirement being met. So now is each cell greater than or equal to five? Check. One other requirement, bang, is your matrix bigger than two by two? For the requirements of this paper, your matrix has to be bigger than two by two. So is my matrix bigger than two by two? Yeah. All right. Now, this first matrix of our observed data is called exactly that. Our raw data is actually called our observed data. Bang. Now, we need another matrix exactly like this one to calculate, bang, expected values. So let's see that new matrix. Bang. Now, let's not forget how to find expected values for each of these cells. Bang. Row total times column total over total total. Now, we have to calculate the expected value for each one of these cells one at a time. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So to find the expected value for this cell, for red between 0 and 2, I need the row total for red. Bang. 22. I also need the column total for 0 to 2. Uh-oh. Forgot about that up there. Let's fix that now. Bang. 26. And that column total goes here. Bang. 26. And that's all divided by the total total of bang. 96. So 22 times 26 divided by 96 equals 5.96. And I'm going to repeat that process. Now I need the expected value for red between two and three. Row total for red, 
Column total for two to three. And the total total for this entire matrix right now. 22 times 36 divided by 96 is bang. And one more time. Now I need the expected value for red in between three and four. Row total for red. Uh, column total for between three and four. Exactly right. And then the total total for this matrix. Bang. And 22 times 34 divided by 96 is. Yeah. Now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that process for the rest of these right down the line. Expected values for each one of these cells. And. Bang. So there are all of my expected values.